I know all of you out there at some point in your life have been in a really, really tough position. And what you need is support, right? We all need support. And we've all been in those awful, bad, low spots. I've been there so many times. And when there's somebody there that I can go to and talk to, that is, that's pretty much the backbone. Uh, you know, my husband is my backbone. Uh, Tana, do you find this, that, that support is so key with mental health? Oh, it's so imperative. You know, so many of us try to go at this thing called life on our own and by ourselves, but yet, you know, we are so much stronger when we have a, when we have a community, whether that community is one person or a family of, of six. It's just so important to have that one person that you can really lean on to get you through a really, really rough time and somebody who's not going to judge you and who will authentically really be there for you. Oh, I, I definitely agree. It, it is so hard to go about uh, a problem in your life on by yourself. And for me, when I had my breakdown in 1996, Thank heavens my mom and my dad were there for me. So at that point in my life, <clears throat> they were there. They were there every step of the way at 3 in the morning, uh, you know, any, any time in the middle of the night, all throughout the day, they're chasing me around. And, <laughs> and thank goodness they were there because if I wouldn't have had that support, I wouldn't be here today. Yeah, but for all those people who aren't so blessed, I mean, you and I both, we have we have that family. We do have that support network. But for all the people who are listening to us and who are watching us right now, you may feel totally alone and really believe that you don't have anybody. This is where we want to really kick in and, and give you some real valuable resources and, and connecting ideas. You know, so many of you may feel that you can't go to a therapist because you're, you're scared. You're scared of face all that dark stuff or perhaps you don't have a family you know so Maggie who else who else do you think that that people you know, who may be watching yeah not everybody has like you said that family support and uh, there is so neat that there's these groups out there that you can go mm -hmm. to anybody can find them and uh, NAMI is a favorite of mine yeah. the, the National Alliance of Mentally Ill uh, DBSA uh, uh, there's also the International Bipolar Foundation there's all kinds of groups out there you can find online today uh, and to get connected with. And then you, you can find friends, you can find um, uh, therapy, doctors, a wealth of information to get you through those tough times. Exactly. You know, so it's just about being resourceful and getting and getting on the Internet, um, asking Maggie and myself, excuse me while I fix this, asking Maggie and myself for, for help. Just know we don't want you to feel like you're, like you're all by yourself. You know, for people who need, I think this is really important and it's something that I had a crisis happen with one of my clients during my practicum uh, experience in, in graduate school. And the woman's son was in a real high psychotic state and somebody within my cohort said, well, how about the emergency psychiatric emergency team, the PET team? And I believe every county has that. So if you know that somebody is hurting, you can always call the PET team, 911. You can call the hospitals. But most importantly, get your resources written down so when something does happen, don't wait till you're in that dark space because this is very serious. Overnight Maggie's life changed and overnight my life changed. So we just really want to make sure that you have the valuable resources at hand when something does happen. Yeah, just definitely. just to know you're not alone. Yeah, definitely. And and we're going to be touching on all kinds of things like this. And thank you for listening into our just a little bit about support today. And uh, this is Keeping It Real with Maggie. And Tanya.